the ordinary moon rises. So it was very confidential. It wasn't even recorded. Very good. Radha Charan had the right feeling to start now. Because Already. before we, we shared something very, very uh, secret, some very secret thing. So this was the quote in verse number 7 of Shri Shri Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi. So let's see what will be the next quote. So the next quote I found in Shri Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, I say I found because I'm not perfect. I'm just looking if I find all these quotes, but in Radharasa Sudhani, they, they are a little bit more hidden. Usually, they make the quotes in Ilapkusu Manjali more visible, but now here you have to really look and find it. So if you find something else, please, you're always invited to share with us. Like always, if you have some feelings, some questions, because I'm just here to find the quotes, read it, and hope that we get some nectar from Gurudev on these topics, so that the light will come in our heart. So the next quote I found is in verse number 11. First, a topic which is leading to the quote. With their playful steps, their motions of their hands, the playful movements of their eyebrows, accompanied with graceful smiles, bending waists, shaking breasts, and the fluttering skirts of their garments, earrings swinging against their cheeks, perspiring faces, and their braids and girdle loosened because of their swift movement and singing Krishna's glories, the gopis, who are Krishna's actual brides, shone brightly like flashes of lightning in a mass of clouds. Here comes the quote. Mandali bande gopigana korena nartana madhyarata sahanaje vrajendra nandana. The gopis danced in a circle and the prince of Braj danced with Radha in the middle of that circle. Sripat, in his form of a kinkari, sees how wonderfully sweet is Rata's artful dancing. And she keeps his glances completely fixed on her lotus feet that shine like freshly blooming red lotus flowers 
of which each two is a petal and each two nail shines like a moonstone. Tripart is enchanted by this vision. How sweet the jingling of Radha's jeweled angle belts and how wonderful her jewel-like two nails shine with them. So that is the theme, the topic here. The mantras are always fixed, although Krishna is dancing with all the gopis in the middle of that rasa dance. He is dancing with Radha. And the mantra is always fixed on the lotus feet of Radha always ready to serve in any kind, which makes Radharani happy. Because this is the Upasana from the Mandri. She wants the happiness of Radha and nothing else. So she is in the middle of the residence, also completely fixed on the seva of Radha and on the lotus feet of her Swamini. So this was the quote in verse number 11. Whenever you feel to share something on that, please, you don't interrupt. You will swell the ocean of rasa and feelings. So the next quote I found is in the verse number 16 of Sri Sri Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi. And it's about the bashful Sri Radha, this verse. First comes the topic then comes the quote so I will start with the verse that we can get the topic when can I see Radha with her charming character shyly looking down at her own twos when she sees the moon-like face of Krishna, the king of relishes, from afar as she steps along with jingling angle belts. Bashful Sri Radha Commentary. Shyam hears from a parrot that Radha is going to the Yamuna to take a bath. So, after milking his cows, he leaves his cowherd boyfriends behind on the pretext 
of wanting to admire the beauty of the gardens of Nandishwara Hill and goes to the bank of the Yamuna. Swamini sees Rasikentra's moonlike face from a short distance. First, she was excited by waves of passionate feelings for Shamsundara when she saw the blackish water of the Yamuna. And now she even sees her lover's moon-like face directly. Srimati's limbs become purified by the twenty bhavalankaras, the emotional ornaments of which Vilas is one. When Radha sees Krishna before her, she is stunned and her gait becomes crooked. She bends her head and slightly covers her face with her blue veil. The pupils of her eyes move about restlessly and her eyes become wide and crooked. When she is thus purified by the Bhava Alankara named Vilas, she gives her beloved great pleasure. In Sri Chaitanya Charit Amrita, Sri Krishna says, E bhava yukta deki radhasya nayana sangama hoite sukkapai kotiguna. When I see these moods on Radha's face and in her eyes, I get a million times more pleasure than when I directly unite with her. The duty of Mahabhav is to make Krishna happy. When Anurag becomes unlimited, it becomes like the powerful sun, destroying the darkness of personal desires in the cave of the heart and filling even the most subtle realms of the heart with desires for Krishna's happiness or, in our case, Radha's happiness. Jai Shri Radhe which is also Krishna's happiness, of course. <laughs> wow! So we can see that Krishna is most happy when Radharani is purified by Bhavalankaras, in this case Vilas, and she is giving him such great pleasure through that. And who is helping? That Radharani will show that science of Bhavalankara the ornaments of her bhava, the feelings shown to her beloved, where he can read the desires of her beloved to serve him, 
in so many ways. The Mandri. The Mandri's help that Radharani will come to that state. How wonderful this Manjari Upasana is. And this is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So if someone wants to share a little bit on that, you're also invited, of course, all the time. Otherwise, I will search for the next quote and maybe you get more inspired by that. Let's see. So in verse 18, I found another quote. Here in verse 18, we hear about the oceans, the ocean of Anurag, the ocean of motherly affection, the ocean of very deep compassion, the ocean of lavanya elegance, the nectar ocean of glistening transcendental forms, and the ocean of play, which are all in Sri Radha. So we hear about the ocean of cleverness, the ocean of Anuraga, Anuragavati, Anurag, an ocean of Anurag. And she is also an ocean of motherly affection. In the same time, she is an ocean of very deep compassion. She is an ocean of lavanya, elegance, a nectar ocean of glistening transcendental forms, and an ocean of play. And the wish of Srila Prabhupada Ananda is May that Sri Radha be manifest in my heart. Sri Mati Radha is first Vaidakya Sindhu, an ocean of cleverness. This means Rasa Panditya. She is a pundit of Rasa. She knows everything about Rasa. Very learned pundit. She is learned in the science of taste. She even teaches Rasika Sheka, the king of relishes, Sri Krishna expertise in the amorous mellow. Now comes the quote. Sri Krishna himself admits in Chaitanya Charit Amrita Radhikara Brema Guru Amishishyanat 
sada amana na nitye na chaye udbhat. Radhika's love is the teacher and I am the dancing pupil. She always causes me to dance different wonderful dances. She is the teacher of arts. And now in this connection, it's very interesting what Radharani is teaching her beloved. From all that oceans which were mentioned, we heard Vaidakya Sindhu, ocean of cleverness. But she is also an ocean of Anurag. Anurag means Mahabhav. Anurag is ever fresh and ever astonishing. Srimati thinks Krishna's sweetness is ever fresh and she always has more taste for his sweetness. So she always relishes it. And what Gurudev is always saying, Anurag means both, right? Raga means one side, Anurag means two sides. It's an exchange and this exchange is nicely described. Srimati sings, Krishna's sweetness is ever fresh. And she always has more taste for his sweetness. So her answer is more taste for his sweetness. What happens, we heard before. The more love she gives, the more sweet he is. In this way, it's going up more and more. And this is Anurag, and it comes to a culmination. Without Radharani, not possible. The third point was, she is the ocean of Vatsalya. And this is actually a very interesting point. Does she also have Vatsalya towards Krishna? Maybe not directly, maybe indirectly. Hmm. We know Mother Yashoda is a part and portion of Radha. The motherly love of Yashoda is the motherly love in Radha. And another thing interesting, sometimes Krishna is somewhere else and the kinkari has to search for him, where he is, why he's not here, why he's not in the meeting. I will go and get him and then she will go there, take him by the hand like a mother and lead him to Radharani in the kunj or he has to follow her if he has done something wrong. He has to follow her like a boy, like a small boy follows the mother and come there. Good for us, 
She is an ocean of Vatsalya towards the fallen souls like me. Through Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this mercy is coming to us and wants to wake us up. Bring us back in the Seva. Wake up what is always in our heart. Nitya Sita Krishna Prema Satyaka Punai. And so on. And in this connection is also understandable that she is an ocean of deep compassion. This is number four. Always showering her devotees with the nectar stream of her mercy. Those who have been touched by the nectar of that compassion can testify. I remember Gurudev was telling this story that he was asking about um, how is it that a devotee is a mercy case? <laughs> Maybe Suniti, you know better this story, huh? isn't it? You remember? He was asking... No, I don't. Us. Which one? Can you say again? Because your voice is so making me fall asleep today. <laughs> you are oh. like a, a fairy tale, a soft voice, and then I always go. <laughs> Tell again, please. I hope it was Samadhi. Yeah, no, 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 not Samadhi. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, forgive me. No, 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 it's sweet. It's sweet. It's just like making me doze sometimes. Again, say which Leela. Good day, I'm was... here with you. Gurudev was you. telling this uh, story when he was asking himself, I think it was Narayan Maharaj who said about the mercy, that uh, the path of mercy, and Gurudev was wondering, and then uh, Narayan Maharaj was answering in a dream, don't you understand that all this is mercy? Ah, yeah, now I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was about the subject, what is Kripa Siddha? We were reading uh, Venu Gita, and uh, there is explained uh, in the purport, Sadhana Siddha comes by own, you know, discipline and applying all the rules and regulations, which was nowadays in Kali Yuga is very hard. And then we have the Kripa Siddhas also. And the Kripa, you know, Narayan Maharaj explained the Sadhana Siddha. And there was, what is the third thing? Sadhana Siddha, Kripa Siddha, and I forgot the third thing. Anyway, and then... Uh, Nitya Siddha, yes, right. Thank you, Guru. Nitya Siddha, these are the one souls who are always in the spiritual world like uh, the Parikar, the family, the spiritual family of Chaitanya, Mahaprabhu and Radha Krishna, of course. Yes, and then Gurudev uh, said that uh, he was meditating about what is actually meaning of Kripa Siddhas because it was never mentioned so much in the books. And then uh, he, in a dream, uh, Srila Gurudev Narayan Maharaj appeared to him and said to him, you fool, don't you understand? The books are the creeper. This is the creeper in the books. Everything is in the books. And that is the mercy that comes to those who are ready to drink the words of the Mahajans. And by drinking with the ears, then the mercy will come from within. Even if we cannot do a lot of sadhana or if we are not so, you know, we, we are not so much qualified for anything. And that was so beautiful. Is that what you wanted to hear, Gauravani? Yeah? Yes, this is what I wanted to hear. Because 
Actually, we are on that way of Kripa, Sita, because everything we got is Kripa. We got Kripa from Gurudev, we get Kripa from Radharani, we get Kripa from all our um, um, friends and sisters here. And uh, everything is Kripa, because I cannot say I have any qualification. I can say that I have a lot of disqualifications. Yes, that's true. But anyway, Kripa is coming and Kripa is just lifting us up. At least I feel like that. Although I'm doing everything wrong, still the mercy, the Kripa is lifting me up step by step slowly and the less I fight against it, the more fast it can go, actually. So this is actually our way. We want to make seva, of course, but what kind of qualification do we have? So I can say I have no. But the mercy of Radharani is our qualification. The mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is in the mood of Radha, who is bringing that mercy to us, showering us with the clans. This actually is giving us the qualification. So it's not our qualification, it's Radharani's qualification. And this is for me one, tr one drop of the ocean of her deep compassion. And actually, to understand the mercy is also Kripa. <laughs> kripa, how to understand of Radharani, how to understand first Krishna, then his Alladani Shakti, and then Chaitanya is also Kripa. Kirpa is that we come up to Manjari Saru, that is Kirpa Siddha. Siddha means they develop all perfection in a high bhav to serve Radhika, that is Siddha Purush. Siddha means that. Siddhi. Until is the process till I not become perfect. Nitya Siddhas, they are always with Radha and Krishna. They are Sakis. Where they go, they go with Radha, Sakis, always. They are Nitya Siddha. Sadhan Siddha is the Rishis and Muni in the time of Rama Avatar. They do the sadhana 15,000 years and they got the perfection to become Gopiva. They are sadhana siddhas. Risha say, I am 20 years practicing to you Vedas, Stuti, and Granthas. For 20,000 years I practice and do from your seva. So I also want to be perfect. Then Rama say, in Krishna avatar, when I will come as a Krishna, you will be the gopi. So all gopis are sadhan siddha. In the, this Sadhan Siddha, also there are different categories. Some are reaching to listen the flute of Krishna, some left the body before reaching uh, because their husband stopped in closing, so they left, they leave the body, they die. Hmm. So, as for the Sadhana, they can reach to Krishna. 
Oh, good. If can I ask about this Bogopis who live the bodies? These are the ones who are in the in the earthly Vrindavan. So they go back after they cannot uh, meet Krishna when he is on the planet, right? So they cannot meet Krishna. Yes. They prepared to reach, but they cannot reach. So because sadhana was less than what they required for. But Mahaprabhu gave Kripa Siddhi. <laughs> By mercy, you can get a perfection. That is Manjari Bhav. Jai Ho. Manjari Bhav sadhana is Kripa. By grace, it is happening. If not, then many are there, they no believe even and no practice this. <laughs> I must see of Radha Rani and Krishna, Chaitanya, it realization come that this is the only way for real perfect. And this all book are writing. If you go, all book is talking about mercy. Without mercy, nothing can happen. That mercy, when we realize it, and we make the fixed nature of us to receive it, that's sacred passing. Mm -hmm. So, Radha is the ocean of deep compassion. That is the mercy. This is the mercy given. She is the giving compassion. What is the meaning of compassion? What, do you, what is the meaning? Can you explain it? Causeless mercy, Gurudev. That is the point. Who can give this? Radhika can give. In the form of Chaitanya, Radhika is giving. Here also giving and Radhika is giving in the form also. And isn't it also compassion or Kripa that when Krishna had the wish to experience that Mandri Upasana, that Radharani actually gave her permission. It is said he stole the mood, but we know there is this uh, this lila about when he sees himself in the breasts of Srimati and his wish is growing and then ah. is giving her permission. Yeah. Isn't that also the compassion of Radharani? 100%. <laughs> Without that, no possible to be come to the highest point of Mandriva. So close to Radhika, oneness in the feeling with Radhika, only the manjaris are there. Sakhi, Gopi and manjaris. All this topic is not you will find every place because this is for the Nitya Siddha, means the Sakhis. Gopis, Sadhan Siddha, and Kripa Siddha is a Manjiris. Without grace, there is no Manjiri bhav can come. Without Kripa of Radhika, in no way. 
day it comes in our life that is the past to start floating inside mokam karo ti vachalam tum can start talking yes this is the capacity These are really so important points, Gurudev. Thank you for for clarifying them again. And it's always so blissful to listen that, because many don't even understand the the, the what you explain that these are not the religious. Nah. These are spiritual things. Others are practicing religion. Yes, so not the subject to know. Yeah. <laughs> Once I was sitting with my brother it was many years ago maybe 25 years ago and I was asking him uh, very frankly I said so what are you practicing for kripa siddha or for sadhana siddha and he said oh sadhana siddha now I understand gurudev this is a completely misconception because we are not even qualified in this kali yuga to be able to do sadhana siddha if they will do they have to reach up to gopiba sorry to say they never try for manjri because they don't believe in the kripa they don't believe in the kripa of guru what about others the saintly person will how it will appear when i will not fix with my guru dev is my real navigator that the guru dev expand in different way that become nitananda we where i see i see my nitananda i see my guru dev there is nothing without guru dev even the child is in my form of guru dev coming to me to teach because guru dev expand in different different direction even in the chaitanya guru he is sitting he never leave me that the beauty of guru dev that he he never gone to ready to navigate in all circumstances so that also has a very deep connection to the compassion of radha because and she is the compassion of navigator also that we do every moment mistake and he want to find out the way to come out from that and again to try for much is all mercy Hmm. Everything is mercy in our life. Without mercy, we cannot move even one minute. <laughs> like a small baby cannot live one minute without mama. Mama, that's the point. Is a mercy is our mama. And Guru Dev is Radha Dasi, so he is also shift and nature. He got it. We do mistake, but he again they try to clean us and say, "No, no, no, you don't do mistake. Do again." Same nature, full of compassion. He ignore that. He try to he strict for the to change us. He never pay. He has no desire for anything for self interest now. For my benefit, he do for me. Why he has a desire for me? Some money or power or something? No.
Gurudev, there's not so many uh, funny and powerful disciples, what I can see. <laughs> That's really your compassion that you pick us up from all the circumstances, like Nitai. <laughs> no, I'm nothing. I'm the one is student. I see everyone, my God, brother and sister, and I want to learn myself from their association. I get mercy from them. Their mercy I am receiving. They are kind. If I will leave my Guru Dev shelter, then I am nowhere. I want to be a student to learn always. So, by Gurudev's mercy, we can now understand the connection between the third and the fourth quality or ocean of Radha. The ocean of Vatsalya and the ocean of deep compassion. Very connected in our case. Because motherly love is also in Gurudev. Also, you can see Radhika is a, is a Narayan Maharaj said to me, Are you are crazy, foolish? You don't understand. All this scripture is mentioned about Kripa. All this scripture is talking about mercy. And this mercy can make you perfect. You don't understand. But he is a heathen. What he will give this mercy? He will make close associate of Radhika. Radha Dasi. And this is the gift. Unna Tujwarasa. Gifted by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So actually, good if we could say that if we think we are always doing sadhana, sadhana, it's something like a cruel uh, blindness. We should become more sadhana. conscious about the mercy. So, so when I say sadhana, 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 is it by this sadhana? Real sadhana, we never leave. Sadhana what? To be Saibav, Dev. Yes. Dev is also sadhana. It is a spiritual sadhana. Speaks in my sarup is also sadhana. Mm. More loving with my Dev is also more sadhana. It goes deeper when it becomes more personal. All moment is sadhana. Any guest coming is also sees testing through them that how you behave with them. Every circumstances is our sadhana. How I give the my service in which mode with everyone. Mm. This is the sadhana. This is the test. My thinking and looking and behavior is my sadhana. How I think and look and do things in which which consciousness. We think with Janabuddhi or Chaitanya Buddhi. We are living in human body or spiritual body. Yes. 
That is every second uh, our uh, test. Uh, sadhana will stop. Dhyan. Where, which stage of dhyan is mine? Asmaran. Chintan. Asmaran. Dhruva Smurti. Dharan is there or not? Who will check? My sadhana will check to me. I have to watch for what I am doing to improve myself. I have one goal or many goals. How I will cut other goal to be one point there? This is not a sadhana, but is a inner sadhana, a spiritual sadhana. Hmm. So, Good. Uh, by receiving the kripa, this sadhana starts. And by the bhakti sadhana, to show to others, I am a very nice devotee. This sadhana is good. By this sadhana, I Sadhana is the foundation of Raga. Is a foundation. But nobody live in the foundation. We're still living in the cellar, Gurudev. That's true. That to be watchful. This is sadhana that I am watching myself where we are. This is not sadhana. I don't watch myself. I am not ready to do sadhana. And I am watching myself where we are and what I have to do and what I am doing. This is sadhana. Sadhak Bhakta say, you have to be gopi. Are gopi, bhav is there and some sadhana little more we do externally by the bhakti, it, the, up to gopi bhav. That I am a soul, you are super soul, I want to reach you, I want to relation, I want to know you, that some sadhana. Bhairanga sadhana. Bhairamukhi sadhana. Antarmukhi sadhana. The spiritual sadhana is different. What is written in Vilapusu Manjali is the Antarmukhi sadhana. Mm -hmm. Yes. If we want to be not religious, it's spiritual. That is Antar Mukhisar. Antar Mukhi is also an interesting word, Gurudev, the inner phase. Inner, Antar Mukhi. I lose my Hindi words because I am always talking in English. <laughs> <laughs> and even other languages. <laughs> So our sadhana is to get rid of this abhiman and take a new abhiman. That's the point. In my sarup And this is 24-7. That is true. Raghunath Das, I don't understand 24-7 when I listen to that. I say impossible, but it's really possible. So they jack they would say toilet sitting outside every time you are done. You are never out from that. Anything you do, 
is happening in through the body but is not touching you this is the sad and this is even more hard than to just chant 16 rounds and put the chapa in the corner <laughs> is not just to keep it on that I am. You see, the 16 round devotee, for not pressing time, is better to be a businessman and earn money. A good businessman. <laughs> That's <laughs> what you always say, Guruji. <laughs> they, they false, wasting time for nothing. <laughs> time businessman is better. <laughs> full time, I say to the my disciple, work full time. Well, you will work full time, never give time to, to escape. This is also sadhana for working for my spiritual life. My all devotee I inspired only work to that. For hard work, earn money. When you will know to earn, then you will earn a spiritual life also. You have to earn it. Yes, you really for the earn. Earning, you need also rati. We need some determination. It's no use to just sit at home and have a lazy life, right? And think I'm a spiritual person. If you are lazy, you are not chatur. You have to be very smart. Then Krishna is accepting. And Krishna, when you sign with Krishna, then he opened the door to understand Radhika. This is the higher goal. Prabhupada said in 10 higher goal, but it's slow and steady. But it never go low, it will go up and up and up. But when, uh, without Kripa, we don't understand this. This is Kripa to understand. We cannot live without Sat. And this sadhana is based on mercy. Yes. Yeah. Sadhana ekane. Sadhu ek hare, marve pujve ke, hare sadhan is also here. Or we need the navigator who can show the sadhana. And siddhiyo ek hane, in living in this life you will get the perfect death. Marve pujve ke, if I will die, who will I explain you and how you will understand this? Chaitanya Tamritva Shloka. So Sri Rata is the ocean of deep compassion. That's the point. Never deviate from this side. I give the example of Jesus. Are he was fixed in the sun. <coughs> who deep in the mercy, who lived in the mercy, they never died. Body can change, but his, his flow, his 
never will never die. His kripa will never die. Yeah. So we can understand that the source of all this is Radha. And who is not going out of her mercy will never die, will always live. So what's Living the use? In the mercy of Radhika never die. What would be the use to live without Radha's mercy, Gurudev? That the that day I understand that is Kripa. And divine cannot identify in material. I identify the Krishna in material body is not possible. If I identify uh, any any woman that is a Radha for me, is impossible. Is a, is a, is a condition so cannot be a Radha. Radha means after signing Krishna. If you totally 100% believe Krishna, then he removed the curtain to go inside to understand her. That is Radha. Means we, uh, without Krishna, devotee, pure devotee, means the soul and super soul relation, gopi bhav, you cannot go beyond that. When the soul comes, then soul gets the gopi bhav. The moment we come in the gopi bhav, in the female consciousness, then see it. Uh, that acceptance to understand is a mercy. She gave mercy, but we don't want to accept the mercy. Yes, I agree, Gurudev. That is a, a very deep point. Also, that we feel we project our I want my Radha, I want my Krishna here in this material world. It's still nowhere. Because then I'm not even in Prakriti Bhav. That, that happens is, again, this projection, no? Yeah, that is Prakriti. Is that Prakriti cannot be a divine? Right. Hmm. And to but read my. We have to understand, we have to realize divine, what I am, I have a divine. That will bring us there. If I am in Prakriti, I cannot reach to divine. And we cannot understand divine divinity of the beauty of that divine. Meeting of Radha and Krishna, exchange of Radha and Krishna is all divine. It's not material. Today was last. That the Krishna want to paint in the breast, to dolphin in the breast, on the breast of Radhika. He is very divine. He cannot do. That's why he's called Rasika Shekara, because he's shaking. 
with a reasonable skill that my God, what to do now? But Radhika say he cannot do. Oh my my dear, come and to make faster to. This is the machine. I hate to give your pa. Radhika is giving to the Dasis. Come and you make dolphin on my. Why she said to make dolphin? I'm like a fish and I cannot live without Krishna. Fish cannot live without water and I cannot live without Krishna. My water is Krishna. And he says, no, you cannot do it. Because she not want to waste the time. She want to go to further that Krishna is waiting for meeting. And she not want to waste the time. So beautiful. She's so much beautiful. She's always living in the compassion. And by this pastime listening, my bodily identification automatic will vanish. My condition identification, my material gross body identification only can melt and finish with that. No other way. There is no sadhana speaking. Written no. there. We cannot come out from the material consciousness without desire, greed for this. The deep subject, you will go on, on please. There's also a nice description how we can see Radharani's mercy. Normally, a person's heart melts with compassion, but only in Radharani's case. The whole body melts with compassion. Only in Radharani's case, she herself melts out of compassion. You can find this. She always bathes in streams of ambrosial compassion. And because Krishna accepted her mood when he became Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu is so merciful. That's the point. Mahaprabhu does not consider who is qualified or unqualified, who is from which caste or from which ashram. He gives prema without making such distinctions. That is a body melting with compassion. It is Radha's storehouse of compassion, not Krishna's. It is Radha's storehouse of compassion. In Braj Lila, the storehouse of Radha's mercy remained hidden and closed. But when Mahaprabhu accepted the mood and complexion of Sri Radha, 
it became manifest to the world. In other words, even when Krishna was here on the planet, the mercy, the storehouse of mercy was not opened by him. Only by Radharani, the mood of Radharani in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he blundered the storehouse. Mahaprabhu showed the people of the world how the body can melt with compassion because he assumed Sri Radha's merciful mood because Radhika's body melts with compassion it can be compared to the fourth cosmic ocean the ocean of clarified butter ghee so oh, nice in the ghee everything is so condensed no? that's why ghee is so valuable ghee is like you know the melted down essence of butter and it's so beautiful the color is so beautiful that's the golden color of Mahaprabhu and that's the golden melted heart of Shibhati Radhika. And again, I was thinking, Gauravaniji, when you were reading that Nityananda is even more merciful because when Jagai and Madai, they wanted to, uh, you know, give troubles and give pain. Then Chaitanya was calling Chakra. He came in his Vishnu consciousness, right? He wanted to kill the demons. But Nitai, who is Ananga Manjari, she is also another form of Srimati Radhika who is coming. And to give more mercy and more compassion, she said, or he said, don't you forget who you are and why you have come. In this Kali Yuga, if you want to kill the demons, you might as well call, kill them all, kill us all, <laughs> because they are all so fallen. But Nitai also give this unconditional mercy, even reminding Mahaprabhu, he came to give love. And that is the igi, that is this essence, this super, super soft and valuable mercy what Gurudev was explaining to us so nicely today. Jai Ho! I feel blessed. Gurudev, give a big injection today. I feel injected. <laughs> Yes, Gurudev is more merciful even than Mahaprabhu because it is said that the Dasi is even more merciful than Radharani, isn't it? So when Krishna wants to enter the Kunj and Radharani is in opposition, then what he can do? He is taking shelter of the most merciful person, Manjari. And in our case, it's the same. We are taking shelter of the Dasi, which is even more merciful. And that's why Nityananda, he's an Anga Manjari. He is a Manjari. He has to be more, more merciful. Because he is tasting all the time the exchange between Radha and Krishna. He is Nitya Ananda. He is always Nitya in Ananda. And Ananda means in exchange Rasa between Radharani and Krishna. So that means he is always in Ananda. He has to be more compassion. He is giving this Ananda to everyone. Yes, Suniti, that's a wonderful point. And who else, is, who else is Gurudev if he is not an expansion of Nitai? Yes, he is. Yes.
And look, it was so funny, Goravani, when you were reading this about, or you're asking this question, then Guri was so on the point. Na? Kripa Siddha, and you cannot reach uh, Sadhana Siddha. It's even not for the Kali Yuga. It's only for the Gopi Bhav. It's only for those who want to, you know, worship Krishna as a Gopi. And then again and again, he is bringing us to that point where we can really appreciate the mercy that we are needing mercy and that we are living in the mercy. Mm -hmm. That is already, I feel today, so valuable. We are living in the mercy. Otherwise, well, how could we always listen to these Zooms and have a taste and have a greed? This in itself is already mercy. Yes. You're right. Isn't it? Yes. Because we have heard this subject many times, but but the point is when we listen it from the heart of realized souls from our Mahajans, my heart also slowly, slowly becomes more open and more realized. That is the process. And it can only happen by listening and by getting these injections of mercy as we did today and as we are always getting but according to my capacity my container is more up or more down that is depending on my own consciousness and this so, fits again perfectly nitya sita krishna prema satya kabunoi shrava nadi shuta chitta koro ye udoi so our sadhana is just to let, not not really to clean it ourselves, the heart, no. To be let it cleaned by the mercy, just by going into the stream of mercy, going to such sharings with Gurudev and just accept this stream of mercy, washing away the dirt in the heart. And then yes. we will live again in our real, in our Sitta Deha, Bhava Deha. And Gurudev is the perfect navigator because he always is directing and giving the, the direction and giving now left or you have to turn back. You know, please again turn on the other side or <laughs> whatever we have to do. He will give us the chance to to co correct any mistake or to correct the direction and to correct the, the consciousness. This is so important. Otherwise, like you would have said, make, make better, be good business. Don't waste the time in trying to be a devotee. <laughs> it Fantastic. sounds so cruel, but it is true. Mahajan Gataha Supantha. And everyone who talks in English, who is the Mahajan Prabhupada? And he writes in Kitor, Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. It's all there, Gurudev. So Sarup and Sarup Siddhi, Sarup is one thing. Knowing my Sarup form, not soul. Sarup means form. He no talk in Bhagavad Gita about soul. He talk about Sarup. Only not stop here in the soul consciousness. Bring yourself in the Sarup as per your activities in the devotion. In relation, Gurudev. In twenty times, twenty. Uh, in relation with Istadev. And how you can be in relation if you don't know who you are? So, if you are not in a soul identity, in my room two, three bulbs are there, and I'm if I'm light on the soul how they are not related to each other. If I know only soul, it's a Mayavadi philosophy, 
I will never relate without Sarup. I don't know why they not say this. Without Sarup is not a uh, not a Mahaprabhu line. Prabhupada so so kind. He says Sarup and Sarup Siddhi is the goal of Bhajan. Krishna consciousness. I traveled 22 years. Nobody talk on this subject any place in the world. No. Nope. If this you are not talking in this subject, what hint Prabhupada give now? Who's the responsibility to explain? A spiritual and master has to navigate for Sarup and Sarup Siddhi and relation and Pariyojana. If not, and we have, yeah, we have to listen it again and honest. again. We are not honest. If anyone is teacher, he has to follow this way. Soul cannot be a personal without form. Pantajma. In the body, uh, outside the body is also Pantajma. But what is the luck? That this soul who has no form, by devotion and relation, we can develop it. Is a Kripa. If I know accept this, I know I accept the Kripa. In living in this body, I know not want to accept it. Then after that, what I will understand? What will happen to me? Phantasma? <coughs> I will play ping pong <laughs> in the soul consciousness. Outside this soul is phantasma. People say phantasma, but it's a phantasma. Oh. He has also what? not body, but our Acharya say you have a body. Accept this body and develop its relation now. Because you have a luck that you have a soul and make the soul body. This flash body is temporary. Hmm. It is a mental religion. Why mental religion? Only mind has to fix. All will start up. Your behavior will change, you might be. I am my behavior will change, everyone's behavior will change if I will accept from my heart. Mahajan Gata Sapantha, what Mahajan do is my way. What Prabhupada is telling, same thing my Gurudev said. Where is the conflict? I don't understand any place. <laughs> what are they Mahajan? They are all going to be a Mahajiri. <coughs> Why is that um, the fighting and politics? All they are, if they are Mahajan, they will be Mahajiri. Or not? Gurudev, we know that conflict is always inside, never outside. That is nothing. We are not 
when right away, then we create conflict. <laughs> when we go Mahajan Gata Sopanta, when we take the way of Mahajans, of the Prabhupada, Narayan Maharaj, all Acharyas, there is no conflict. Only what in is, persons who are not clear inside, they have a conflict and they actually are making problems. If a person is following a, a, a good a, a guru and the right upasana, no conflict. Pray to them, Mahajans, that I don't associate with them before who has a confusion. In them. Please help me that I don't get that association in life, <laughs> that they create problem in my life. Then we will lose the mercy. Narayan Maharaj said, Are you You don't understand Kripa? You don't understand Hindi also Kripa? You don't see in the books which place I take out and write about that? All books are writing about Parsi. Take any book. And I don't understand this Parsi. What type of you doing? What are you doing here? You don't understand this still Parsi. You don't want to receive that Parsi. You are only trying to understand the Parsi. Okay? Receive it. Take it. They are throwing to you. And you are not ready to. You have no any power to receive it. Gurudev, today you are really, you have uh, Nittai's uh, genes inside, huh? So the power <laughs> of Nittai is coming through you today. You see, everyone, what the Mahajans, before they are, see the God Govinda Maharaj, anyone, any place, see the Mahajans, they crying is true, to cry for the Mahajans. When the time will come that I will realize it. That moment, love matra, sadhu sangha sabsanti hoy. Love. One second. One second is also too much. <laughs> Fraction. Fraction. Yes. Radhe, Radhe, thank you. Radhe, Radhe, thank you, Gurudev. I can receive the mercy. I can live in the mercy. You see, Narayan Maharaj say me, you are foolish. <laughs> you rascal not understand this. <laughs> what are you doing? I like this word, I repeat it. Oh, rascal. So foolish, you don't understand, but I feel proud to understand this. That's how he said it. Oh, clothes except nobody can say like this. <laughs> they are not close.
जय गुरुदेव की जय 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 श्री राधे जय श्री राधे गुरुदेव थैंक यू सच अ नाइस इंजेक्शन टुडे गुरुदेव फ्रॉम वृंदावन राधे राधे गुरुदेव राधे राधे I can also do bhajan. I am crying. I cannot do bhajan here. Yeah. I don't know what. As far as I could see, you're completely in bhajan. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> 